Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe with another fan TV, man. Back at another video at the content of this video. Go ahead and smash that like button. Also, go ahead and comment down below your thoughts on the video as well. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Uh, I know a lot of Ravens fans out there, so got more Ravens content to come, more NFL content to come. So, you know, on the road to a thousand subscribers. Uh, everybody hit the button. Thank you. All right. Um, so, look, I was listening to the, um, the full interview of Mark Andrews and Chris Sims. And Chris Sims said something that it was interesting to me, kind of uh, kind of like a throwaway comment, but I thought that's something that Ravens fans should think about, right? Pretty much, Mark Andrews made a comment about, hey, I'll give Lamar Jackson my paycheck, you know, if, if that'll get the deal done, right? And this is what Chris Sims had to say in response. Get this done? You're I'll a big guy. You can do it. What can you do? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah. There's enough money to go around. Right? And, uh, Steve Riscotti, he's got plenty of money. Don't, you don't have to give him yours, all right? We'll take your don't paycheck. Do you don't, don't need to give it to Lamar. There's enough money to go around. Right. Don't give away your money, but Shadi got enough money. It's pretty much the, the, the sentiment of what he said. Right. And the reason I want to talk about this is just because I think it's a mindset thing. Right. Um, when I look at the Chargers got to pay their quarterback. OK. The Bengals got to pay their quarterback. The Eagles in the Super Bowl, they got to pay their QB. Right. Because Jalen Hurts is a second year quarterback. So they didn't have that fifth year. So he's coming up on his de on time for his deal. Right. I don't hear those fan bases say something like. Yeah, how are we going to pay him? We're going to pay him this money, but then there's going to be no money for anybody else. I don't hear the Chiefs fans be complaining about that. Hey, look, they had to ship out Tyreek Hill, right? But when you have a quarterback, which are hard to find, you find a way to make it happen and you build around it, right? Now, listen. The Eagles built one of the best teams in the NFL, probably the best roster in the NFL because Jalen Hurts is on a rookie contract. So I'm not going to sit up here and to deny the fact that it is easier to build a roster when your QB is on a cheap deal. I'm not going to tell you that that's not, that's not a fact. Of course it is. That's, it's absolutely easier. But at the same time, from all the reported accounts, the Eagles are not going to say, hey, look, well, Jalen, we appreciate what you've done for us. You know, you got us to the Super Bowl, but guess what? Um, we're just going to draft another QB and uh, you know, we're going to keep it rolling like that. No, from all accounts, him and the Eagles are going to work on a deal this summer, and he's going to get paid, right? So, and it's not, this is really, really, really is not about Lamar Jackson and the Ravens negotiations. What, what happens, what happens with that is what's going to happen. I'm not really going to keep hammering on that. But I want to talk to Ravens fans about the mindset of there's not enough money to go around. We got to get rid of that. I know for a long time, right, as Ravens fans, we had the concept, we had the idea that, you know, the quarterback was a secondary piece, because we were, that's what we were used to doing. That's what we were used to uh, watching. I grew up, like I said before, I'm thinking the last video, if you, if you was here with me. I grew up watching Kyle Bowler, bro. And win, winning games in spite of Kyle Bowler playing. Seen it. Young Joe Flacco, who wasn't always sharp. Joe Flacco appeared throughout his, up, his career in the ups and downs in the regular season. Winning games in spite of that. And obviously, Joe had some great moments, right? Um, so not taking that away from that. Obviously, he had the playoff runs. You know, he, he was great in the playoffs. But in the regular season, we've seen plenty of times where Joe Flacco was like, bro, what are you doing out here? Okay? Now, listen. The Ravens finally have a guy. And Lamar Jackson, who's a lead guy. You find a way to get it worked out, and you pay the money, and you build a team around it. You build a team around them. The Chargers have had virtually no success with Justin Herbert. Obviously, they won games, right? But... I don't think they have won the division because they're in the Chiefs division. So that's, you know, that, that's kind of been dead. And correct me if I'm wrong, Justin Herbert hasn't won a playoff game. Um, he had a chance this season. He was up, what, 27 to 7 or 27 0, whatever the score was of that Jaguars game. And they lost. And I haven't seen Chargers fans say, yeah, maybe Justin Herbert just isn't worth the deal. Right? Maybe Justin Herbert, we need to move on from Justin Herbert and uh, get somebody else in here that can uh, get the job done. No, because they know they got themselves a guy, right? Let's talk about the Bengals, okay? Joe Burrow obviously has had a, an immense amount of playoff success. Um, he's had a lot of help around him in terms of his receiving core. I'm not going to hold that against him. You need good players around you to make you play good as a quarterback. That's, you know, Lamar hasn't had it all the way to the fullest. Obviously, he's had a good, a decent offensive line. Uh, he hasn't had the receivers, but he has had tight ends. He has had running backs, whatever, right? But not the receiver help that Joe Burrow has had, right? But with that being said, the Bengals drafted Joe Burrow number one overall. Okay, so they obviously was committed to him on, on that end. But this past year, right, the, the last offseason, the Bengals changed the name of their stadium 
This name of their stadium was after the founder, the guy who owned the team for a long time. So Paul Brown Stadium, right? His son Mike is now in charge, okay? They changed the name of the stadium. They sold the name rights to change it to Paycor Stadium. I think they got $300, $400 million off the deal. This is a direct move so they, they can have enough money to sign Joe Burrow. A direct move. But they're not going to say, Bengals fans are not going to say, hey, look, man, how man, we pay Joe Burrow. What else are we going to do out here? No, they're going to pay Joe Burrow. They're going to figure it out. So this mindset of if we sign Lamar Jackson, what, are we, what else are we going to do out here? We can't, we can't make any more moves. No other team thinks like that. No other team thinks like that. I'm just going to be completely honest with you, right? Now, in the Bengals, in that case, they got two number one receivers. They got Jamar Chase. They got T. Higgins. In my opinion, they're going to probably have to choose one of those guys to pay. That's just my opinion, right? And obviously, the guy that's going to pay is going to be Jamar Chase. So, and if that's the case, T. Higgins could be on his way out the door just because of financial reasons. Now, if you have a QB that you believe to be as good, and Joe Burrow, who they believe to be a good quarterback, I think Joe Burrow is a, I think he's a good quarterback. Well, if it comes to it, you gotta let you gotta let T. Higgins go. And guess what you do? You trust in the foundation of your team that you could draft a guy who can be at that level or just slightly below. You gotta have trust in your team and your foundation and your scouting department that you can replace some of these guys. We show every year that quarterback is not sewn up and easy. It's not. Look at Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson was drafted high in the draft. Right, he hasn't shown it, only to be outplayed by Mike White. Right, that's not the case everywhere, and also it's not. It also it shows on the other end. It's not easy to find QBs. It's hard. It's a very very hard thing to do. So we got to get over the idea of that. Hey man, we'll just you know if it comes down to it, just get a real Lamar Jackson, get the draft, get the uh, draft picks in, pick somebody else, and we'll drop them in. Think about the team that you're rooting for and think about their history with quarterbacks and think about what you're saying. The same way that a lot of Ravens fans say, hey, look, man, I don't trust the Ravens to draft a wide receiver. Why do you trust them to draft a quarterback? Right. Lamar Jackson is the first superstar quarterback they've ever hit on. I, like, I say this all the time. When I talk about Joe Flacco. We love Joe Flacco, but he wasn't this. We I mean, got to be honest about that. Right. And he gave us a great run. So I thought what Chris Sim said, I, even though it was kind of just a throwaway comment, he was just, you know, just talking to Mark Andrews, hey, look, man, they don't do that, you know. But Shadi got plenty of money, you know. Don't don't uh go on, you know, don't give Lamar Jackson your paycheck. You don't gotta worry about that. While he was joking, it's the truth. It's the it's the God's honest truth, bro. Listen, the the examples that I gave, and even the other team, the Chiefs, right? Like I said about the Chiefs, they had to get rid of Tyree here, but what do they do? They go out and get Juju and free agency. They trade for Kadarius Tony. Right, they get Marquez Valdez Scanlon. They you don't stop improving. You don't stop. And Pat Mahomes is on a 10 year, 500 million dollar contract. And it ain't like that's a small cap hit. They haven't stopped trying to get guys to put around them. They haven't stopped. A good team is going to pay their elite quarterback and they're going to figure out the rest. And that's my thoughts today, man. Uh, I just want to get it out there, man. Let me know what your thoughts is on the video, man. And we'll talk about it in the comments. It's your boy Gabe. This was a fan TV. I'm out.